Hey everybody, welcome back to The Family Man. I'm Michael Shear. I have my, behind the camera right now is my lovely wife, Tiana. And this is The Family Man, episode 002. We're gonna be going over healthy family. So today, me and my wife, we are gonna be showing you how to do a couple's workout. And if you stick around for the whole entire video, we're gonna show you what we meal prepped for this week. Hey wifey, what are we going to be doing today? I'm going to be working on abs and some legs. So, let's get started. I need my husband getting ready to work out. Hi husband. So, just follow us on this journey that we're getting ready to take. It's called the Rock Climber or Spider-Man. The variation is that you're going to bring your knee out and it's going to come in and touch your elbow. Both sides. Knee out, touch your elbow, bring it back. Work out. What she's gonna do, she's gonna keep her legs straight, flat, roll her legs back over her head, and in the same motion, gonna come down without touching her feet, gonna bring her knees into her chest, just like a crunch. Exercise number three. My husband is gonna show you um, a variation of a plank and a rock climber. Um, and with this, it's going to be more so of rotating your hips, using those legs, um, show them what you do back. Alright. Okay, you guys, we are on our last workout, workout number four, and what we're going to be doing is, what are we going to be doing back? It's what I call the AKA the crunchy frog. The crunchy frog is what my husband likes to call it. But it's better known as what? Just like a, uh, it's a leg lift crunch. Okay. All in one. Leg lift crunch all in one. You want to show, show you how? It? I'll do it. Put your legs out. Don't touch your shoulders to your ground. Come back in and grab them. Bring them out. Yeah. Grab. You do about 20 or 30 of these. Good to go on to the next one. We'll finish up like we are. Hey, thank you for joining me, Michael Shear, my wife, Tiana Shear, family man, AKA gets it done for the family. And this is, uh, once again, this episode two of Family Matters. Exercise edition. I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy, give us some likes, start making comments. Um, until next time. Until yeah, next bye. time. Bye. Hey, keep watching the video. A little sneak peek of our meal prep Sunday. And this week on meal prep Sunday, we're gonna have Parmesan oven baked chicken breast. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil, two teaspoons of olive oil, and four tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna put it into a microwave until the butter gets melted. Put in your olive oil until it gets a smooth, little smooth texture like this. We're gonna be dump, dropping our chicken breast into it, putting it back into the pan and into the oven at 450 degrees for our Parmesan mix. We're going to be using the key ingredient, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of seasoned salt, basil leaves, and pepper. What I did for this mixture is I used about half, so we're going to do it in percentages here. About half of it is Parmesan cheese. About You're going to want to get two tablespoons of basil leaf, two tablespoons of pepper, and one tablespoon of seasoned salt, and get your mixture like this. Once we dip our breast into the butter, we're going to drop it into the mixture, put it back in here, and throw it in the oven. Like so. Come on in. Come on in. And here it goes. Look at all that butter, olive oil, gets in the mix. Puts in the mixture. Mix it up real nice. And back onto the plate. You're going to do this for each one of these. I'm only going to go show two and then speed up the process. A few moments later. We're going to wrap it into foil. Like so. And then you're going to put it in the oven. And like I mentioned before, the oven's going to be set on 450. You can set it on 390. That is for like a slower cook or a slower bake. I'm going to do it on 450 because I want it to have that little bit of crispiness and look just a little bit more crunchy on the outside of the chicken. So whatever you prefer, if you want it to be more of a moist or more of a crunchy is what you put on the temperature on. For the more crunchy, it's going to be in here for about 20 minutes. For the more moist, you want to put it for 30 minutes at 390. 